What's up guys, it's Underworld Times with another story. A British administrator for the darknet market Silk Road 2.0 has been ordered to forfeit £490,000 in Bitcoin. White, now 26 and known online by the handle Cthulhu, pleaded guilty at Liverpool Crown Court in 2019 to drug trafficking, money laundering and making 464 Category A images of child abuse. White was jailed for five years and four months. At the time, White had dropped out of his accounting degree at Liverpool John Moores University after a single term to work on the notorious dark web site Silk Road. After a US law enforcement operation shut it down in 2013 and captured its founder and administrator Ross Albrecht, White started working on its successor site Silk Road 2.0. White was among a group of original Silk Road users and drug dealers who worked after Albrecht's arrest to recover the site shortly after. Branded Silk Road 2.0, that site ultimately suffered the same fate as its predecessor and went offline the following year. Silk Road 2.0 was hosted on servers in Lithuania. In May 2014, the FBI worked with Lithuanian authorities to temporarily take Silk Road 2.0 offline and clone a copy of the data which ultimately led to its seizure and subsequent arrests. Despite using anonymizing software to host and access the website, White was identified by the NCA by tracking parcels of drugs he had ordered through the original Silk Road itself. After he was jailed for over five years in 2019, officers at the National Crime Agency continued to investigate his finances. At a recent confiscation hearing at Liverpool Crown Court, His Honour Judge TQC ordered White to repay £493,550 from his Bitcoin holdings. All electronic items used by White in the commission of the offences were also forfeited. Like the original site, Silk Road 2.0 used technology to allow users to anonymously buy and sell Class A and B drugs, computer hacking tools and other illegal goods using the digital currency Bitcoin. When officers examined White's electronic devices after his arrest, they also discovered a stash of horrific child sex abuse images. Investigators are unsure how much money White made, but around $96 million worth of goods were traded on Silk Route 2.0, and they say White took a commission of between 1% and 5% on each sale from tens of thousands of users. Although White had no legitimate income, he paid £10,700 upfront to rent his upmarket apartment on Man Island in Liverpool City waterfront. John Williams, head of the NCA's Organised Crime Division, said although Thomas White used anonymity and pseudonyms to try and cover his tracks, the CPS was able to show that he was the guiding mind behind the building of Silk Road 2.0. He received an income that allowed lavish spending with no credible explanation. He had also provided money laundering advice and sold MDMA on the original Silk Road site, Mr Williams added. At White's trial, David Jackson, prosecuting, said White, using the name Stexo, began using the dark web marketplace Silk Road in 2013 to buy a prescription drug used for sleeping disorders, and then entered into an agreement with the user Meds for Bitcoin, based in India, to become a distributor in exchange for a discount. Jackson said the agreement was a stepping stone for White. White upgraded from a buyer's account to a vendor's account and sold items including drug testing kits and MDMA. He went on to become involved in advising on security and creating backups of vendor pages and forums in case the site was taken down. In October 2013, the FBI had shut down Silk Road and arrested Ross Albrecht, who used the name Dread Pirate Roberts for running it. White collaborated with an American user, Blake Benthal, known as DEFCON, to set up a new marketplace, Silk Road 2.0. Jackson said the Crown say this defendant was the guiding mind behind the site, whereas Benthal provided the technical know-how. 
White took up the mantle of Dread Pirate Roberts, but once the site was up and running again, he began to reduce his involvement. Silk Road 2.0 continued to operate until November 2014, but the court heard that White had announced his retirement in messages in January 2014 when he was 19. Teak said from the beginning of 2014 you reduced your personal involvement in running Silk Road, no doubt in the hope of avoiding Ross Albrecht's fate. However, the authorities caught up with you. When police raided the £1,700 a month flat he rented in Man Island, Liverpool in November 2014, they seized electronic devices. As well as finding material related to the site, they found 464 indecent images of children, including some as young as six months. The National Crime Agency detectives, Gary Tancock and Paul Chells, who led the investigation into White, said that among the vast amount of encrypted data found on White's seized computers, some had been hacked from NASA, the FBI and extramarital affairs website Ashley Madison. It is not believed that White himself hacked the data. The NCA said White, who left after one term of an accounting degree at Liverpool John Moores University, was believed to own 50 bitcoins that at the time had a value of about £192,000. Detectives said the self-taught computer expert was controlling, manipulative and forthright online, but the opposite in the real world. Tyrone Surgeon, branch commander of the National Crime Agency, said Thomas White was a well-regarded member of the original Silk Road hierarchy. He used this to his advantage when the original site was closed down and profited significantly from his criminal activity. This case proves that crime doesn't pay. Not only has he spent the last two years in prison, he now has to hand over nearly £500,000. This has been a complex international investigation and highlights that we will use every tool at our disposal to disrupt organised criminals from profiting from their crime. In America, the US Justice Department previously announced charges against others accused of running Silk Road 2.0, including its alleged operator Blake Benthol of California and his assistant Brian Richard Farrell of Washington State. No developments in Mr. Benthol's case have emerged since 2015, while Farrell was sentenced in 2016 to eight years in federal prison. Albrecht, the administrator of the original Silk Road, was convicted on seven counts related to this site and is serving life imprisonment without parole. His supporters are seeking clemency from President Biden. Gary Davis, an Irishman charged with helping Albrecht, was extradited to the US and pled guilty to related counts. He was sentenced to six years and two months. Roger Thomas Clark, a Canadian man, also charged in relation to the original Silk Road, was extradited from Thailand to the United States on June the 15th, 2018. In January 2020, Clark pleaded guilty to conspiring to distribute narcotics.